All right, and welcome back. Or actually, for any of you that are new here, I guess just welcome. In this video today, we are we are going to be changing the engine oil on a diesel marine engine. And our specific engine is a Volvo Penta D255, although fundamentally the principle is much the same regardless of your, your diesel boat engine. So it's an incredibly easy job. It's one that I know people pay somebody else to come and do for them. But with the cost of living going through the roof, inflation going mad, I feel like it's incumbent upon us to try and share everything that we're doing to save costs wherever we can. And as I say, changing the engine oil on a boat is so easy. I'm gonna walk you through what we do. If you are new here, my name's Dominic. This is Kadoa. This is both our home and our adventure machine where we do our best to capture in all the glory and cinematic beauty that we possibly know how all of the different places Places and adventures that we go on. But the reality is not every video can be some cinematic creative work of art because the truth is there's a lot of regular things that go on behind the scenes like changing the engine oil or boat maintenance and repairs and upgrades which is more fun. We're gonna need some engine oil, one new oil filter, one ratchet strap to remove the old oil filter, some form of pump to pump the oil out of the engine and a container to catch the old oil in. Right, so the first thing we want to do is fire the engine up and let it get up to temperature. And that'll make the oil much thinner and give us a better chance at getting most of it out. I forgot just how snug it is back here. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is remove the old oil filter. This is a new one. I'm not going to put the new one on just yet, but and get the old one off. Now I did put the old one on only hand tight, but every time I try and get it back off, it's always a lot stiffer to get off than it is to put on. So I've got myself a ratchet strap. I'm gonna use this, get the old one off. There's gonna be some oil spillage, try and get it off as quick as I can. Quick as I can. All right, so now we've got the oil filter off. Next, we need to pump out the old oil. For that, I actually use just a really cheap 12 volt pump that I bought off Amazon. Uh, I've just always found these make the job really easy. I know a lot of people use the manual pumps. There's nothing wrong with the manual pumps. And a lot of those manual pumps you can both use to uh, pump out your old oil and it will contain it momentarily for you as well. So that is kind of handy, but it's also like a space issue. So those gigantic pumps take up a lot more space than one of these do. And we're always coming across empty containers, you know, whether it be old water bottles or old fuel cans or, or what have you, to be able to empty oil in. So it's never been a problem and there's never really, for us at least, been a good reason to carry one of those massive uh, manual pumps. But nothing wrong with it if that's what you have. Just like to take off the filler cap. Again, just makes the uh, the flow of the oil come out a little bit easier. Move this and put our extraction hose down the dipstick corner. And put the other end of the hose in this container here, and then switch on the pump. So I don't know if you can hear when it's making that gurgling noise, I mean we're running low on the oil that we're extracting. What I like to do is I just push the oil extraction hose just sort of up and down, up and down, because as you push the hose all the way down the dipstick, what can happen is that tube goes all the way down and it can push off of the base of the sump and turn back on itself. So it could be almost like a snorkel, if you like, sitting above like the last of the oil at the bottom. You're probably never gonna get all the oil out of the sump but you wanna try and get the lion's share out of it. So the last sort of couple of minutes, I'm just sort of pulling it up and pulling it down, making sure I'm just trying to capture as much as possible. So, a little bit more. Okay, so we've got all the oil out, or all the oil that we could reasonably expect to be able to get out of the sump. There's always gonna be a tiny little bit left in the bottom. Now, I change the oil on Kadoa annually. I know some people will change the oil depending on how many engine hours they've done specifically, and that might not be a bad shout. I change it every year, or as soon as it starts to look dirty, it's time to change it out. And regularly changing out the oil is really gonna keep your marine diesel engine super happy. Now, be sure to consult your manual to check the specific amount of oil required for your particular engine, our Volvo Penta D250. 
55 requires 10.5 litres of oil. And that's a really annoying number because the containers of oil come in five litre drums, which means we have to buy two and a bit. That's so annoying, but that's the hand we're dealt. But first things first, let's change the oil filter. A lot of people like to prime their filters uh, and that essentially just means filling them up with oil before screwing them onto the engine. Although this particular oil filter on this engine is going to mount sideways. So that means if you fill it up with oil, a lot of it's just going to fall straight out. So I like to put a little bit of oil in, maybe I fill it up to about quarter and then I'm just going to glaze around the outside of this gasket and that's really just to, I mean, the gasket should do a good job of sealing itself anyway, but it's just really so that when you screw it on, there's just a little bit less friction, which hopefully gets rid of the risk of it kind of squeezing up and uh, you ending up with an oil leak. Okay, so we just want to do this up hand tight. And then once you've got it to hand tight, you just want to go half a turn more. There we go. Now you want to be sure not to overfill your engine. If you do overfill it, then it's a simple enough process. You just extract the new oil in the same way as you did the old oil. But you don't really want to have to do that. So because we take 10 and a half litres according to our manual, and I understand I'm probably not going to get all the old oil out of the sump, what I like to do is put 10 litres in, see where exactly we're at with the dipstick, and then just gradually add the last half a litre in until we get exactly where we want to be. See where we're at. Ooh, we've got a little bit on the dipstick. We're at the minimum on the dipstick already, and look how clean that is. I really want to be the halfway mark between these two notches, so just a little bit more. And there you have it, the oil change is all done. That will keep Godoa powering sweetly for another year to come. And as you can see, it's so easy to change the oil on your marine diesel engine. So over the next couple of weeks, we've got a few more maintenance videos to share with you. We've got a couple of repairs to finish off. And then it's my personal favorite, some of our actual upgrades that we've made for this season. One of which I like to think is kind of my own personal invention, but you'll get to see all of that. It's gonna help us massively as we go and explore some more remote anchorages and then bring them to you and share them in the most artistic, creative and beautiful way that I know how. But the most important thing this year, our main mission is to fill up with so many more destinations, the anchorages section on our website. There's a link in the description below if you wanna check that out. If you're interested to find some new anchorages to go and visit and then just see how we found them. We really wanna fill that page out. We've got a huge amount of support. We've had a lot of help from our patrons and everyone that's supporting us, which has enabled us to really spend as much time as possible building this out to be, hopefully, I hope I hope it becomes a useful resource, if nothing else. But that is all from me today. Just a very quick video and again if you want to save some money and this is something you're paying other people to do honestly just do it yourself save some cash times are hard and i'll see you in the next one bye for now